please subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video. A very good afternoon and welcome to Mutual Fund Corner. I'm Nigel D'Souza and with me today is Sumeru Abadi. Remember, every Tuesday and Thursday, we will answer all your mutual fund queries and equip you to create wealth by benefiting from the magic of compounding. We'll, we'll keep you in touch with the top financial advisors who will analyze your portfolio and also provide recommendations. Well, as we speak first, before we get to all your queries, keep an eye out on the markets. Things are getting very, very volatile. Volumes are very, very high. Remember, it's expiry day, so it's bound to be high, and things are bound to be uh, volatile. Now we're getting to the business end of the day. That's the final 90 minutes, then the final 60 minutes, and finally, the final 30 minutes when you see the markets really make its move. First up, we run you through all the top stories as we speak. The markets virtually at the day is low on higher crude prices as well as weak global queues. Banking stocks drag. The mid-cap index sees a lot of selling pressure. And short-term yields fall 30 to around 40 basis points after the Reserve Bank of India announces fresh liquidity infusing measures. Banking stocks, though, remain under pressure. And customs duty on washing machines, air conditioners and refrigerators as well as compressors, they have been hiked. It's negative for stocks like Voltas and Havels. Titan, though, that sees a bit of a brief uh, relief rally as import duty on gold remains unchanged. And the consistent duty hike on aviation turbine fuel weighs in on airline stocks, acts as a further headwind to the weak rupee as well as higher crude prices. And NBFCs like India Bulls Housing Finance, Canfin Homes, Edelweiss, Shrey and Fra, Relcap, as well as Repco Home Finance, they take a beating in trade as investors are fearful of growth impediments. Okay, all right. Uh, the bulls are trying to put in a bit of a fight. Let's try to pull in a couple of options, actually, you know, to see, get a sense of what exactly is going on out there. The 11,000 call, now that's added close to around 17 lakh shares. I think it makes sense to get uh, that up for you on the screen. The 11,000 call, we should keep an eye out uh, on that one. That's added close to around 17 lakh shares, approximately. Now, that's telling you that the bears believe they can defend the 11,030, 11,040-odd mark. We started the day at around 11,050. So that should be the level that the bears, they believe that, no, today we're going to be ending in the, in the red. At least that's the sense you're getting from the options data that should come up for you on the screen. Now, the worry is the 11,000 put, now that was seeing a lot of addition. Um, it's now, you know, the total a number of shares that are added there is only around two and a half lakh shares. At one point of time, it was more than seven, eight lakh shares. It's come down to around two and a half lakh shares. So those that were writing the strike, they're getting a little nervous. So that will make the bulls as well a little nervous. And now you're seeing a lot of addition at around 10,950. So going by the screen, it seems to you know state that the bulls believe, well, writing the 11,000 put could be a little you know a, a little tricky. So now they've gone ahead and they're writing the 10,950 put. That should come up for you on the screen. But before we get to answering all your queries, let's start off with the CNBC TV an exclusive. We learn from sources that the GST Council will deliberate on Kerala government's request for CES to raise funds for the flood-related work. Timsi Jaipuria, she joins us with all those details. Timsi, over to you. Well, as you rightly mentioned, the GST Council, which is slated to meet tomorrow, is going to discuss uh, the proposal which has been mooted by mm -hmm. Kerala state mm -hmm. government. They want to, they want council to consider a 10% cess on intrastate supplies specific only for Kerala. Now, remember, there were a lot of confusion going on whether India should have a pan India cess or we should have only a state specific cess in case of Kerala. So now government has moved ahead with having, uh, with proposing that they should be uh, the council should take a decision on whether to levy or not a 10% cess only for Kerala. Now this, uh, as per the rough calculations of the government, would fetch 60 to 70 crores per month. The proposed cess would be, as I mentioned, will be only uh, specific to Kerala and it will be applicable on. State GST, that is SGST. Now, to uh, have this worked out, GSTN has sought a time of six months to prepare proper invoices, to have a proper new mechanism of returns so that uh, this specific cess can be levied and it can be calculated and uh, people can file their returns who will be making these intrastate supplies uh, through this uh, specific format. Not just this, there's a lot on the agenda 
for the GST Council, apart from the Kerala says, the Council will also discuss the current GST revenue position. Now, as for the revenue trends that have been mapped by the Council Secretariat, the revenue deficit pan India has started showing declining trends. The revenue deficit from April uh, 2017 to August 2018 was 16% and it has started reducing to 13%. So government feels that the revenue deficit is declining and this is a healthy trend. However, there is a concern that uh, the highest number of returns so far have been filed only in the last one, that was July. So post-December return filing was in a downward trend and it has now started picking up pace. Now if you see the breakup, the CGST revenue is at 15,303 crores as against to 15,877 crore. Similarly, if you see how revenue deficit is moving from April to uh, August 2018, then Puducherry has the highest revenue deficit of 42%, All right. followed by Punjab, which is 36%. But if you see the revenue surplus, yeah. then uh, Mizoram has the highest surplus, that is of 54%, followed right. by Arunachal Pradesh, with 49%. Mm -hmm. So overall, it's going to be a detailed discussion on Kerala says, and yes, not to forget the current revenue trend right. uh, that the government is seeing pan India. Okay, all right, MC. Thanks so much for joining in and giving us all those details. And in the meanwhile, we have a bit of a pullback on the Nifty, at least a temporary pullback. TCS and Coal India, those are two stocks that are fighting for bulls, and that's why we have seen a bit of a recovery from the low point of the day. But uh, let's go across to Sumera to our mutual fund corner. Sumera, over to you. Nigel, thanks very much.